Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Mendy Munich and today brings us the final two league games of the season and can we go for this playoff place here, if we were successful in that playoff place we will play uh, the, play the, the team that sits I think 16th in the Bundesliga, I'll just double check that, uh, 16th, so at the current time you're, we're looking at playing um, Frankfurt if we were to get into that playoff place. So, two games today, Bochum and Hamburg. Tough, tough games for us in the Bundesliga 2. Bochum are uh, fighting, for, for, fighting for survival themselves. I think they're safe, though, with two games to go. Six points uh, are, are available, and they're five points ahead, so they need a point in the final two games. And Hamburg, who are already in the playoff places, but they can reach uh, the uh, the top two if they get I think either a win or a point in the two games as well so tough tough games this is going to be the first uh, team that goes up against bottom away from home we've got Muller in goal Egbo, Belkaya, Kilian and Klassen are the back line and by Grimes, Tatinho, Harrop, Gomez and Brewster up top on the bench Rodi, Steinhardt, Gujon, Pilkington, Bon Giovanni, Morano and Clough let's get into it go to kickoff and I'll see you when we get there. Start of blue and white versus light blue and white. Uh, first half has kicked off. And uh, hopefully we can get a good positive result in this first one. And then try and beat Hamburg at home in the second one. Highlight for us. 15 minutes gone in the uh, first half. Egbo gets the ball back from Harrop on a throw in. And uh, playing the ball around in the middle of the park. Grimes going on a little bit of a run. Lovely through ball for Brewster. Can he shoot? Yes, he can. Lovely goal from Munich. Lovely through ball from uh, from Matty Grimes through to Ryan Brewster. Ninth goal of the season for the striker. And it's 1-0 to Munich. Grimes just telling Harrop to get out of the way. And he does. And uh, there goes a lovely through ball for uh, Brewster on the shoulder of the last defender and calmly slots it home. 1-0 to Munich. Mulling with a free kick. Goes for goal and Muller keeps that out. Lovely save from Muller. Uh, kept us, uh, kept a clean sheet at the minute. Egbo from a free kick. 10 minutes before half time. Goes short to Grimes and Mokaya into Kilian and be impressed really well by the front two. Klassen out to Gomez. Gomez is going to come inside. Fine. Brewster again goes for goal and it's just wide by the youngster up top. But good move from back to front for, uh, for Munich. A couple of minutes before half time, and uh, it's a throw in to Bochum, and they're going long, but Belkai does well there, but only heads it down to Pantovic over the top to Franz. Heg Egbo caught ball watching, uh, but we just get it clear. Good save by Muller, and Egbo uh, clears for a corner. Kalozi with the ball in, and Muller claims that really, really comfortably. No one getting in the way there. At the half time break, just told them assertively, just there's a lot more to come from these guys. First half was very, very average. Egbo now whips the ball in, and Bruce is going to go onto that. Grimes goes for a shot, and it's a good block, and they get the ball clear. Can they counter now? Bottom France on that right hand, the left hand side, and by covering there, Killian with a really good header. Grimes picking up the loose ball. Egbo now on this right hand side into Matty Grimes. Everything going through Grimes today and uh, we'll get the ball out to Gomez on this left-hand side. Takes his man on and Tatinho's there. Great save. Brewster follows up and it's another good save. Double save there by Ryman in goal for Bochum. Grimes going to get this corner in. 20 minutes to go. Find someone at the back post. I think it was Brewster. Bon Giovanni collects it. Back to Brewster. Tatinho's there. It's a mad scramble in the middle of the box and it falls back to Egbo. Grimes now trying to get the ball in. It's a well-played um defensive block there but what a scramble that was i think the first one was brewster then bon giovanni couldn't get the get the ball into the back of the net and it's still one nil to munich and there we have it a good one nil win for munich a final away day of the season me and brewster on the 18th minute lovely uh finish from him but matt grimes definitely player of the match seven point uh seven point six for him Really good performance from Matty Grimes. Going back, I'm going to go into the dressing room and passionately say uh, we got what we wanted. The professional job done by the boys. And uh, we are now uh, a point behind Darmstadt going into that final game of the season. Uh, who have they got in the C in the uh, final game of the season? Going to the schedule. They've got Karlsruhe. They're on a bit of a resurgence, actually. They beat us uh, very recently and they're actually well clear of the uh, relegation zone. So, um, yeah, it's going to come down to a one-game shootout between ourselves and Darmstadt. And who gets that final playoff place? We have Hamburg. We have top of the table Hamburg who are going for the title. I'll see you when we get there. Here we go, then. Big game for us. First versus fourth. And we're going for that playoff place for uh, possible promotion to the Bundesliga. So, 
really good season for us this year, whether we go up or not. We've had to change the uh, players around a little bit from last game. Uh, Goujon's come in for Mbai because Mbai didn't play particularly well last uh, last time out. Uh, Parodi's had to come in for Bokaya because Bokaya suspended. Uh, Weber is injured and Bon Giovanni is injured as well. So that is his season over and I don't think we'll get him back for next season. Uh, he's been okay for us. 6.87, 7 assists, 1 goal in the league. Um, I was expecting a little bit more from him actually to be fair. Definitely more goals, uh, definitely a lot more assists and uh, probably because he's only 20 years old, um, he's just a little bit of a rough diamond and not the finished article at the minute but he's been a good servant for us. He's say he might not be able to get him back next year. Monaco might need him in his first, in the first team but uh, we will net we will get on with it and hopefully we'll see him again sometime soon down the line but the team is as you see it muller in goal egbo parodi kilian klassen Dujon grimes gomez harab totino and brewster up top let's go and see if we can get this from a uh, playoff place and potentially fight for promotion to the bundesliga right then before we get started we're going to remove the uh formation and we're going to get the uh and we're going to get the latest scores up see if we can see how uh how Darmstadt are doing they're home to Karlsruhe so a little bit of an easier tie for for them compared to us um but yeah it's a big ask for us we've got top of the table they're fighting for promotion uh fighting for a title we're just fighting for a playoff place it's going to be a big big afternoon for us here in Munich couple of minutes gone first highlight hopefully goes to us classing on that left hand side and uh, get the ball forward to Brewster on the last man. Brewster in his, uh, is in really good form at the minute, but no one can keep up with him pace-wise. And uh, now they get the ball uh, forward themselves. Klassen doing really well. Get the ball back to Muller, and it's the pass is under hit. And Iten, Sedjic Iten, uh, puts the ball away. It's a bit of a calamity at the back. Thought Brewster was going to go through. He tried to find someone in the middle. No one could keep up with him. And... Uh, Klassen looked like he had that uh, sorted. Muller hesitated and Iten pounced. 1-0 to Hamburg. That mistake has led us to go into the break 1-0 down. But Darmstadt are losing as well. As you can see here, top right-hand corner. Darmstadt are actually losing to Karlsruhe. Mobius for them um, scoring the goal on 36 minutes. So we come back into this. We, we get a couple of goals in this second half. We could... Do the unthinkable. I'm going to say expect to see a much better showing in that second half. Gomez not playing well. Harrop not playing well. And of course, Klassen with that mistake at the start of the first half. But let's go again in the second half. A very even game so far. All we need is that one chance to get back into it. Douglas now, just after the second half has started. Stoud down that right-hand side. Parodi doing well and knocking it down to Grimes. Goujon now into Harrop. Harrop's got a little bit of time to play. Goes out to Gomez. He's going to drive inside. One of those mazy runs. Goes for goal and Hollandsbeck pushes that round for a corner. Igbo throwing it into Matty Grimes. And Goujon on the, in the middle. Got a lot. Oh, what a hit that is. I was going to say he's got some space on the left-hand side for Klassen, but he just took an almighty swipe at it. And Loic Goujon with a fantastic hit. Grimes finds him. He's in acres of space. There's literally no one around him. And from about 30, 35 yards out, takes an absolute pot shot. And it's one apiece. We're back in this game. Can we go to the playoff? Now, Mark, two changes. Uh, Pierre Gabriel on for Egbo. Pilkington on for Harrop. And we just pushed uh, Andre Gomez into the attacking midfielder role. And uh, 20 minutes to go. And um, at the minute, we're in that playoff place. Uh, Gabriel into Klassen. Klassen goes back to Grimes. And Goujon's got a little bit of space. And there's a lovely switch out there to Totino. Takes on his man. Can he get the ball in? No, Douglas stands him up well and gets the ball out to Ito. Ito now coming down this right-hand side. Lovely ball over the top to Iten. Killian doing really well there. It fell back to Iten as it hit Pierre-Gabriel. And uh, just wide from the striker. Final change. 20, uh, 15 minutes to go. And buy on for Matty Grimes. And just put Goujon in that deep-line playmaker role. He can play it. And we're coming into the final... Five minutes or so still in that playoff place. That could be tomorrow's episode, the playoff with uh, Frankfurt, I think it is, in Bundesliga, in the Bundesliga. Final couple of seconds to go here now. And we're whittling down time, and uh, that is it. Full-time whistle's gone. Came back in that second half, played really, really well. Let's see how Darmstadt did uh, at the end of their game. Uh, what a comeback that was. Really well played, boys. Have we played ourselves into the playoff? Yes, we have. Darmstadt stumble on that last game, last day of the season against Karlsruhe. And we then go to the... Uh, the f <laughs> I 
can't believe it we then go to the playoff place um against i think it was against uh against frankfurt well we'll just double check that before we uh, finish today's episode we achieve we get 14 million for achieving 13 place uh, third place in the bundesliga so fantastic for uh, for our finances because yeah very much in the uh, red going into that and we'll see who we're going to get in the uh in the playoff i think it was frankfurt we'll just double check so there we have it the pit ourselves against frankfurt from the bundesliga we will play at frankfurt i think it is just a one and done i don't i oh know it's a two-legged affair we go to their place first and then they have to come to munich for the second leg so really really looking forward to that to bring you that tomorrow so really really exciting tomorrow uh both games against frankfurt but that is it for today's episode if you have enjoyed it please do drop it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out any more content we've had a newcastle episode go live at 12 o'clock today so if you've missed that top right hand corner um and it will be up there for you as well and until tomorrow we will bring you the bundesliga playoff i'll see you soon